Hi, I'm Wendy Brockman with Arvada Insights. It's time to honor our Channel 8 Super Students of 2010. The Wildcats here at Arvada West are wild for their superstar. Her name is Katie Fear. We're going to go inside and surprise her in her class. Take a look. I have a nice little surprise today. Arvada West principal Rob Bishop knows this classroom is about to go wild. He's announcing which wildcat in the room is the winner of Channel 8's Super Student Award for 2010. She has great school spirit and she's got a big, big brain. She's a stud academic uh, student as well, taking all AP classes. So let's give a big <laughs> cheer to Katie Fear, Katie. <laughs> Katie Fear is a standout student who stands out. Today her hair is pink, but she's been known to mix it up. She dares to be different and plays by her own rules. Take, for example, ice hockey, typically a male-dominated sport. Katie's been playing for the past eight years. I was actually a figure skater, and then I saw all the, all the boys skating around the rink, and I was like, Oh, that might be fun. And my mom thought I was crazy, and she didn't want me to do it. Whether it's powder puff football or varsity softball, Katie plays hard. She's a competitor. She also studies hard. She's ranked 16th in her class of 384. She's taking about seven advanced placement classes, which are college-level courses, including this one in economics. Right. Here's the old one. I mean, think real world. Right. Okay. You have the coldest winter in 20 years. People got to keep warm. So what are you going to do? You know, raise a person. You're right. I've definitely had to pull a lot more late nights this year because I think I'm even busier this year than I have been in previous years. Um, and yeah, and studying in the morning. I wake up before class to study sometimes, um, studying during the day. Being inducted into the National Honor Society was a proud moment for Katie. She says she wasn't born book smart. She just knows how to push herself. I don't think that my high school career has really been based on me being a super smart um, kid. I've worked really hard to get the grades that I get. Um, I go home and do my homework, and I study probably for a lot longer than some of the kids in my classes. Katie says her strength is communicating. She's a people person, and she loves the volunteer activities she does outside the classroom. She dressed as a pirate for Halloween when her National Honor Society organized a program called Trick or Treat Street. She's president of the Arvada West Peace Jam Club to create a new generation of young leaders inspired by Nobel Peace Laureates. And this year um, we're doing some stuff with Haiti um, and we put together our big event every year is Peace of Palooza, which is a benefit concert. Um, so we're working towards that right now and we're gonna donate all our proceeds this year to go to Haiti. She organized a club to hold a school-wide mock presidential election. Even riding in the homecoming parade, Katie never misses an opportunity to try to make the world a better place. And I also volunteer with Stand Up For Kids, which is a program that um, does outreach for homeless and street kids every week and we go out and give them different supplies. That kind of volunteer work enriches her life and will likely play a big role in her future. She's going to Smith College, an all-women's school in Massachusetts, and she says she may focus on politics, working behind the scenes. I think that I may do something with um, public policy. Um, that's what my papa did, and um, he was really good at it, and I think it's something that I'm really into. Her papa is her grandfather, who was active in the civil rights movement. He actually worked with someone who helped train Martin Luther King and Rosa Parks. So he's been a big inspiration for me and for him to be just so proud of me as he is. Um, it's definitely helped me, you know, kind of keep in the back of my mind what my priorities and what my goals are. Her papa and her nana, as she calls her grandmother, influenced Katie to stand up for equality and diversity and to embrace her independence and free will. And she's good at bringing people together. I'm really um, good at talking with people and communicating um, my needs and their needs. Um, so I, def I definitely think I'm a more hands-on person. Graduation is coming. Katie knows she'll have to leave Arvada West behind. And there's so much that she'll miss. I think I'll miss a lot of my friends and teachers. Um, so Smith is an all-women's college, so I won't have boys there. I think I'm going to miss the boys um, at our school a lot because they're pretty funny. But I also, um, the teachers that I have here, 
are really great and they're really dedicated to helping us learn. And I also think the, the friends that I've met here, the people who I've had intellectual discussions with and really understand where I'm coming from, kind of living in a suburb and, you know, different things like that and all the different discussions that I get to have with um, more diverse group of kids. Congratulations, Katie Fear. Your enthusiasm in athletics, academics, and community service make you the perfect choice for the A-West Super Student for 2010.